Well, today is August the 23rd. It's uh, still part of the summer holidays, which is why we decided to come outside to do our blog this month. Uh, but obviously today is the GCSE result day. Um, we have calmed down here at John Cabot Academy as the students have collected the results and, and gone home to celebrate. Um, and yet again, it's been a really successful year for us. Um, I couldn't be more pleased with the results of uh, particularly our newest academies. Hans Price Academy, 44% of the students got 5A to C's with English and Maths, which is a huge increase on last year, where only 23% of students in the predecessor school got that figure. So that, that's a huge uh, justification of the quality of the work that's taken place at Hans Price in the last 12 months, supported by the Ofsted judgment that we had uh, just before the end of last uh, last year finished. Kings Oak Academy, they joined us last September. Uh, they did 32% a year ago. That's now gone up to 50%, uh, so an 18% improvement. And again, uh, the work that Ian Frost and his team and the staff uh, have done with the students there is just fantastic. And what that means is that more students at Kings Oak will join our post-16 uh, and more students have got chance to do the kind of courses that are appropriate for them in post-16 uh, when they come back uh, next month. Bristol Brunel um, has been with us since 2007, so these are the fifth set of exam results we've had from BBA, um, but they're the best. 53% uh, of our students at BBA got five eight C's with English and Maths. Previous best was last year with 41, so that's quite a jump, uh, not just a couple of points, but to improve 12% in a year in an established academy is something that we're really proud of. Um, so those three academies in particular I'm absolutely delighted with, and uh, we're seeing the, the, the benefits, I think, of the collaboration of the Federation, sharing staff, sharing ideas and strategies, um, people working together to find solutions to get the best results possible for these students. That's what the Federation was set up to achieve, um, and that's what's happened, and, uh, and we look forward to continuing that, that work. Um, a week ago we had our post-16 results, and I'm equally delighted with those as well. Uh, this is the second full year now where we've had a collaborative approach to that, where the students have been following courses uh, on different academy sites, um, and they're the best sets of Year 13 results we've had. John Cabot's results have always been solid in post-16, particularly at A2, um, and they've continued with that high performance. But Bristol Brunel Academy, with their third cohort of Year 13s, have now almost matched what John Cabot's Academy has been achieving for some years, and that's, that's great. Bristol Met had its first year 13 students this year um, and, and again I'm really really pleased with the progress they've made from AS level through to A2 um, and so things in terms of our public exam performance uh, are going from strength to strength um, and that's what we were set up to achieve to give students better opportunities to be more successful increase their life chances give them the opportunity to access post 16 further and higher education and we've done that today uh, and that's why this is always for me the best day of the year and the day which brings it all into focus about why we do what we do. Uh, I'll do my next blog uh, in the first week of term when I welcome the primary academies and Bath Community Academy to the Federation.